Verse 19, Hebrews 10, 19. Therefore, Therefore believers, mm -hmm. you got to be believing, okay? Since we have confidence, do you have confidence? And full freedom to enter the holy place, the place where God dwells. See, this is, this is a bit much. This is what we've been translated into. This is what we've been transferred into. The kingdom of God, where we have, since we have confidence and full freedom to enter the holy place, the place where God dwells by means of the blood of Jesus. By this new and living way, which he initiated, oh my God, and opened for us through the veil, as in the holy of holies, that is, through his flesh. And since we have a great and wonderful priest who rules over the house of God, over that high priest rule. let us approach God with a true and sincere heart in unqualified assurance of faith, having had our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Stop. Ooh. Stop. Now you remember, Ooh. wait, wait, wait. You remember. Mm. Okay, if you follow if you've been following us week after week, we read about how Moses would take that blood and he would uh, uh dip some hips hyssop in there, add some more hyssop and he would sprinkle the implements of worship. You, you the utensils of worship, and then he would sprinkle the people. He did that often. It was done often. It had to be because every year they had remembrance of sin, of sin, of sin, of sin. Here's Jesus, my God. There, here's Jesus. He comes along, right? By his by this new and living way, which he initiated. And open for us through the veil, as in the holies of holies. And we know in the temple, they had this, this series of curtains, of skins. Skin. Hmm, body and skins. Okay. We, that only the high priest could go through. Once he cleansed the people and himself of sin, he could go in and perform his ceremonies that only he could do. Right? He would come out having visited with God. Okay? By this new and living way which he initiated and opened for us. Mm -hmm. Us. Not himself. Mm -hmm. Us. Mm -hmm. Through the veil as in the holies of holies that is through his flesh. And since we have a great and wonderful priest who rules over the house of God, let us approach God with a true and sincere heart in unqualified assurance of faith. Having, no, stop. Faith. Here we go. Here we go. Now, are you aware that the writer of Hebrews is saying in these verses, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23, what we read before three weeks ago. From Hebrews 4, mm -hmm. verse 14. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who is passing to the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let's hold firmly to our confession. But we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things, just as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let's approach the throne of grace with confidence, confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help at our time of need. He's saying the same thing. He's saying the same thing. And he and, and, and so, read yours one more time. Starting where? 19. Therefore, believers, since we have confidence and full freedom to enter the holy place, the place where God dwells. In case you didn't know, the holy place is the place where God dwells. We have we believers if you can you believe can you believe 
God is saying, this is where I put you. This is what I've given you. This is your new place of residence. Okay? This is the place where you get your authority to do my will. You have new instructions now. Okay? We have new instructions now. Our, 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 the place where we get the authority to do what we do comes from our Heavenly Father, from the throne that we have confidence to enter. And we can enter there anytime. Anytime. Because Jesus accomplished God's will in sacrificing his life for the world. For the world. Okay. Therefore, believers, since we have confidence, not going to get, we have confidence and full freedom, full freedom to enter the holy place, the place where God dwells, by means of the blood of Jesus. By this new and living way. So what's the new and living way? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus ushered in a new way of contacting God. A freedom for the believer to go into the very presence of God and not beg for what you want, receive. We are not beggars. We are believers. I know this both starts with, a, with the B-E sound. But we are believers and not beggars. No more than my very own adult children. If they wanted something from me, they wouldn't crawl in here on their hands and knees saying, Oh, mama, daddy, please, can I have a crust of bread? We would probably smack them. What is wrong with you? Have you lost your natural mind? If there's bread in there, go get the bread. Get off your knees unless you want to scrub the floor. Okay. But no, that's not how we treat our natural children. If God is the almighty, all-powerful, all-loving, all-forgiving God, and he made access for us to come to him by means of sacrificing or having to have to sacrifice his own son, and he calls him God. Yeah. You, you're not seeing this. You don't understand where you're from. You don't understand what you've been given. And so you keep thinking, I'm just going to be humble. No, humility, true Bible humility, it's is to agree, agree with God. God. Agree. It takes I mean. being a believer to agree with God because it goes contrary to that old way of thinking that we are all used to. That won't work in the kingdom. It won't work. There's no faith in that. There's no confidence in that. There's no freedom in that. So our faith rests on whether Jesus shed his blood or not. And he shed it. He shed it. It's on the heavenly mercy seat forever. Forever. Saying that sin has been put away. Put away. The so now you can made. go boldly right. before the throne of grace mm -hmm. to receive from God what you need. 